Oh, hi, YouTube. This has some issues, so let's fix them. I've been making electric line skates for almost 10 years now. So let's see what we can do to make the next prototype better. So let's take this thing for a ride. Hi, I'm Daniel from Thunderblade. If you're new here, I've been developing electric line skates for over 10 years now, trying to make the dream electric line skates for everyone a reality. The skates I'm wearing now, they are the 2022 prototype, which I could, I could make it thanks to my awesome supporters on Coffee. Thank you everyone that donated and supported in any way. I'm here because of you. The 2022 prototype was a huge leap for the first one using hub motors, but it was not perfect. I cut some corners trying to make something stylish, but some things didn't work quite as intended. The four motors, they were like really powerful, but then I have the downsides. So I'm off to build the new one, the 2023 prototype, and we're gonna talk about how we're gonna improve it and why. So let's start with a review. What's good and what's bad about the last year's prototype? Let's talk about what is really good about this prototype. Four motors. I mean, this is stupidly powerful. Man, it's so much power. This prototype, the 2022 prototype, was really powerful. Four motor was like a dream. It's so fast, so powerful. The brakes are really, really good. Like, when I brake, it actually brakes. It's not like, oh my God, it slows you down. No, it brakes. It completely stops you. This thing breaks. One other good thing about this prototype is this is very, very easy to find the parts. They are completely off the shelf. You can buy them on AliExpress like I did. Put them together and you have to build a frame. It even comes with a wireless remote. So it's really, really good. I mean, only using it on level two, there's four levels, because here comes the cons, right? The frame I built is not strong enough. The frame is bending a little bit because it's only supported on one side, not the axles, the frame is actually bending. Another con is the weight. Even one motor is like more than a kilogram. Oh my God, brakes. <laughs> okay, so let's go for a complete stop here. It's likely uphill, let's go. This is on level two, right? Just goes. No problem whatsoever. Not a big uphill, but it just goes. It's just so powerful. So let's do it again like well, on level four. I think you guys might find it fun to watch. I'll try not to die. Okay, set, ready. Oh, oh. And go! Oh, f Okay, I... Oof. This is so scary, I, I must do it again, let's go. Let's go, level four, go! Okay, stop! I should find a steeper hill. Okay, back to level two. So the first functional prototype was in 2014. You can see on my channel that the first video was from January 2015, right? And uh, it was all 3D printed, used 80 millimeter wheel and a friction drive setup. The friction drive setup survived in 2018 when I launched the Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign. And um, it didn't go that well. I couldn't, I didn't have the money for marketing and stuff, so not a lot of people knew about it. So after the crowdfunding campaign, I stopped for a while and came back last year with the new, the new improved design. I launched the coffee page, which had a, gather a lot of support from you guys, which made it possible for me to buy the parts and build this current prototype. So right now I'm trying to make a better and simpler prototype with less parts so it could be more achievable for more people. So you don't need to buy four motors, you only need to buy two motors. And I mean, 
two models is strong enough. <laughs> By the way, I watched Ricardo Lino talking shit about the scissor stance like this. And he says it's not very uh, cool to ride on scissor stance. So yeah, that's making him happy. So from now on, I would just ride normal as he says. So it's not that difficult to ride normal, but you have to really, really be in tune with the motors and the, the remote controller. Otherwise, you just get launched on your back, right? So what's bad about this prototype? First, the really bad stuff is the weight, okay? prototype weighs so much it actually hurts your hands to carry it around we need to take down the weight so let's talk about negatives right so the first thing is that four motors is way too heavy for you to actually skate normally so the the, the feeling is like you have your feet it's they are attached to the ground right like if you can't it feels like you can't lift your feet off the ground it takes so much effort because it weighs so much i mean you can get used to it but it's not comfortable so we need to get the weight down i, I like to actually jump and do little tricks when i skate so this is a no for me i must make it lighter so how do we make it lighter okay the first thing the obvious thing is to lose two motors i know some people will like no i must have the four motor power all the power to you man but i need a lighter kit the other con I have with this setup right now is the excessive grip of the, of the wheels. The rubber is so grippy, it's really hard to actually turn. So I need a new compound for the, for the wheels, for the rubber, because no, it can't be like that. Next thing is to make this thing more sturdy, right? I need to make it really, really shockproof so I can actually jump on this without worrying that it will break. I don't know how much the motors can stand, like jumping and stuff because these motors were not made for for inline skates they were made for skateboards and people skateboards don't jump right i mean don't get me wrong the grip is really good for rainy days so i don't know maybe where you live rains a lot so you would rather have like this really grippy rubber up to you man i i will get the grip down also, the wide wheels are really good for going over grass and dirt and small rocks. So I really enjoy the wide wheels. So yeah, let's try to keep the wide design for now. Right on the stop line. Yeah. Did I mention these brakes are awesome? So let's recap, make it lighter, make it less grippy, make it nicer, make it capable of jumps. That's it. So how are we gonna achieve that? So come with me and I'm gonna show you. So to make it lighter, I'm gonna replace the two motors with 3D printed wheels. Of course it's going to work, trust me. I don't know, man. You sure 3D printed wheels? I'm sure, trust me. So after we make the new wheels, I'm going to make a new frame, okay? And although I'm not, I don't like very much the idea of a backpack battery, I'm actually gonna make one. Okay, okay, I said I wouldn't do it, but now I'm just gonna do it. And let's find out if it's really that bad. Let's make an honest review of a backpack battery. Lastly, and lastly, we're gonna 3D print a frame. Will a 3D printed frame actually withstand the abuse? Well, there's just something else that we're going to find out, okay? And like I said, I want to make this as accessible as possible to most, to more people around the world. So make it a, a digital file and you 3D print one at home would be like the easiest thing, right? So, what do you guys, so what do you guys think?
Do you guys think this will be enough? Will this be a good prototype? Do you have any other suggestions to make? Because I'm going to build this one and I'm going to keep developing it with the input from all of you guys, especially those that are actually members on the coffee page. If you actually donate $5 a month, you get a membership and you can join us on our member discord. So it will be much easier for me to, for you to reach me. And of course, I read all the comments you put on the videos. I try to answer all of them. I can't answer every single comment, but I thank you very much for everyone that comments on the video. So we're going to a new journey to develop. We're going to to this journey to develop the new prototype with two motors, 3D printed frame and wheels, backpack battery. And let's see if this actually achieves what we're trying to do, which is a better skate for most people. And I hope you learn here how to make your own. And if you want slightly different specs, just go for it, man. Build your own, show it to us, send me the video. I'm gonna publish it if anyone do it, right? So don't forget, let's storm the streets.